going to investigate the infamous LaLaurie Mansion here in New Orleans. That's right. It's kind of a big deal. This is uh, this place has never been investigated, uh, especially from a paranormal TV show. So we're setting the bar high. Yeah, and the Ouse mean it's pretty historic. I've been trying to get in here for 10 years, but I think the first step we have to do is start separating the truth from the myth. Exactly. Because there's a lot of rumors about the atrocities that happened there. Let's hit it. So the order of operations, we are gonna do a tour of the building with the property caretakers who've worked here for years and years. Hello. Hi. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Katrina, Hi. good friend. Hi. Nice I'm very to excited you. to be here. Thank you for meeting with us. So now you you work here? My mom is the caretaker of the home, and I do the cleaning of the house. And do you guys live on the premises? Too? My mom does. Oh, so wow. she has a lot of stories, and so do I. You know, just. Odd things that have happened. When you come in the house, like certain spots, I don't like to go in by myself. I don't come in here by myself at night. I'm scared. Really? Because really? you just have an eerie vibe. It's just an eerie vibe. After changing hands many times over the years, the LaLaurie house is now just a privately owned home. So it's off limits to the public. So it's really good for Jack and I to understand if the haunting is the same as it was in the 60s or if it's changed at all. Right this way. That's Carol. So your daughter was filling us in a little bit. Um, yeah. You've worked here for a long time. Mm -hmm. Almost 12 years. And you live on the premises too? Yes, I have an apartment right here. OK, so have you had odd experiences? Uh, some. I don't like staying in the kitchen by myself because that door just flings open and shut randomly. You just don't know. And you could watch the doorknob turn by itself and open, and there was nobody on the other side. I think the servants used that door to come in and serve the family. Do you feel like they're here with us? Yeah, definitely. I do. And when you least expect it, it goes. In fact, it did that this morning to us. And I said, y'all are not going to do this to me today. I feel like we're disturbing something. Mm. I don't know what. Katrina, this would have been um, Annie's apartment that she lived in. Ooh. While I was asleep at night, I used to hear noises. I would hear screaming. Yeah, yeah. So this would have been it, then? Yes. This is the dining room. In this room, I seen a little girl in that window looking out to the street in a white outfit. It was a glimpse. Interesting. I think probably the biggest challenge Jack and I are gonna have is that this is a very large property and there is so much going on. Every single room seems to have a story with the paranormal. And that's just the stuff we know about. This was the ladies, Paul. So one of the rumors is that people have conducted different rituals in here. I've seen stuff, but I don't know what actually has transpired. I was not here for any of it, mm -hmm. but I've seen remnants of it. What kinds of things would you see? I like a board. Like a spirit board? Exactly. Potions, maybe that they got from a voodoo store. So they, they understood that this place was having weird things happen. Exactly. Yes. And it came to the point where they wanted answers? Yes. Or... yes. Oh, 100%. interesting. It's the same thing we want, answers. Oh well, yeah, same thing we want. So the owner, he does have guests that come. And one guest actually sent us a picture. And it looks like a blob at the foot of this bed. It's weird. <laughs> what? It looks like two sets of eyes. But it looks like whatever this is, it looks like it's holding that. Yes. I have never seen anything like this in any kind of photo that somebody's shown me. I have no idea what was in that picture. I'm not going to say it's evil, but it sure as doesn't look inviting. This is a bathroom. Mm -hmm. This is a secret room. Whoa. Okay. And I was way down by the bed back there. And I felt something touch me. But it was real cold. This has got to be the airiest room in this house. And this would have been slave quarters. This is where the little girl ran out these doors and plummeted to her death in the courtyard. 
saw what I thought what appeared to be a little girl sitting on the corner of the rooftop and her legs were dangling. Anytime trauma has taken place in a location, it can leave an echo. So what's happened up here? Well, Madame LaLaurie tortured her slaves up here. Wow. Has anyone ever experienced anything paranormal, anyone? The electrician has. Things just randomly happen to him when he does work up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unexplained. And he got hit in the head with something. One minute he's fine, the next minute he's bleeding from his forehead. Mm. He feels fearful. Mm. You know, he's afraid. It seems like the whole house has a pulse to it. Exactly. So there's a lot of ground to cover that we're going to have to really be kind of selective about how we're going to go about doing it. Yeah. Definitely hope you get some results, that's for sure. Yeah, so do I. It seems like it's the whole house that's active. It doesn't seem like it is confined to one area. By all accounts, this place is humming with paranormal activity. All right, so the night investigation is about to begin. Things to watch out for. The noise of like clanking metal, like chains or something like that, hearing voices, um, seeing things. Um, you know, this place is known for having pretty significant poltergeist activity. Don't be afraid to call out whatever you see, feel, hear. It's divide and conquer. Great. Flashlights on. Let's do it. Whoa. Hold on a second. I just noticed something. I'm not lying right now. We're picking up some kind of entity in the room. Yeah, it's in the chair. What are we looking at? We're looking towards the room that Annie would have lived in. Can you shine some light over there? What the f This is, this is really weird. Who's in the kitchen with us right now? Oh. Just disappeared. It just vanished. Katrina, can you go stand right there? Yeah. No, just hold still for a second. Now it just registered you. This was Annie's bedroom. Oh, that's right. That's where we are right now. Yeah. We're in her apartment. We walked into the room, and our beds were tossed away. They were no longer up against a wall. They were pushed in the middle of the room. Oh, it's back. This is insane. It's in a totally different spot. I'm going to move my hand. Am I getting closer? It's on the other side of the chair in the little ottoman. Over here? Yeah, you're getting close. It's actually increasingly cold on my hand right now. 